River City Live. Our friend Amy West is back. This time around, we're talking about trips you could take on one tank of gas. Welcome back to River City Live. And obviously, Thanks, with Mark. spring break in the air, a lot of families, they want to do something, but yeah. they might not want to travel far. And there's a lot yeah. of options that we have. Yeah, it's great that travel's starting to open up, but a lot of us are still wanting to stay more domestic, a little closer. So I wanted to hone in on some that are just one tank away, like a two and a half hour max drive. All right, so let's start out with Savannah, and that is the Plant Riverside District, about yes. two and a half hours away. Now, recently you talked about this, but you yeah. had the opportunity to go out there and actually do it. Yes, now that I've actually visited, I have a little more context and I just can't stop gushing about this place. I tell everybody, you know, Savannah is known for its history and its charm, but now it's actually this happening, hopping place to visit. It's a great bachelorette destination, a great girls trip destination, but also super fun for families. I was able to stay at the JW in the Plant Riverside District, the JW Marriott. It's a beautiful hotel and in their plant building, it's full of dinosaurs and larger than like geodes. They also have rooftop gardens they have lounges it's right across the street from all the bars where you can go country line dancing and there's fun places to shop and great places to eat so I can't say enough about it you get to stay in one spot and walk to all the entertainment around you it's a great place and one thing that's cool about Savannah it's kind of like St. Augustine where as soon as you get there it looks entirely different than what we're used to yes so I really like that you automatically feel like you're on vacation only being two and a half hours away okay. all right so the next stop is a place where all kids love and that's just going out to Orlando yes. and Disney. Disney, you know, this is a great time to visit. The weather's beautiful. They're still at half capacity. Um, mind you, they are very strict about your masks and social distancing, as well as you can't walk and eat at the same time. But other than that, it's so fun. You don't have to wait in line as long. We recently visited Hollywood Studios this past weekend. We had a great time exploring all the new attractions with the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. We also did Animal Kingdom and we got to do all of the Pandora stuff this is these are attractions that like a couple years ago it would be super hard to get in line you would be waiting for hours and hours and it's actually really reasonable now so it's a great time to visit Disney and you mentioned before so half capacity right now so again it's not as crowded right. I would imagine with spring break it's probably gonna fill yeah, up fast. Yeah, there'll be a little more lines. I'd say going going during the week is always a good opportunity. Also, you know, first thing in the morning, getting in there, riding the most sought after rides first thing. Those are some tips that'll really help you through. Yeah, and as you mentioned, the weather right now is perfect. So when you try to do Disney like in the summertime, it's like 110 degrees. It's yeah. so hard to do. So this is the opportunity to do it. All right, and last on the list, St. Simon's Island, only an hour and a half away. Yes, I love the Golden Isles. This is kind of our family's playground. We try to go at least once a year and we're headed up to St. Simon's this weekend. We're visiting the King and Prince Resort. They have uh, newly remodeled so it's kind of got a fresh face. If you've been there before it's a great chance to revisit and experience as new. We are actually going to be in a villa. This is one thing that maybe a lot of people don't realize is you can actually stay in the main building or you can rent an entire house for yourself. So you have a lot more privacy. You can socially distance more um, and you also just have so many outdoor things you can do there. You can visit the lighthouse. They have beautiful shops. They have a pier you can walk on and and there's miles and miles of bike trails. So great place to visit. Jekyll Island's just a hop, skip and a jump away, away. So there's just so much to do there. And you know what, I think that's a theme right now too, is just getting outside and exploring. And obviously you could do that there. It's just beautiful grounds throughout yes. that area. Exactly. And if people want to learn more about you and get even more tips, where can they go? Head over to amywesttravel.com. You can also purchase my book, 100 Things to Do in Jacksonville Before You Die. Um, and you can do that on my website or at 100thingsjax.com. Well, thanks again, Reaper. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mark.